I was reading through a Let's Run forum and I came across this entry, which I cannot actually believe. So the title is Sisei Lemma Drops Out of Olympic Marathon. And if those of you who've been watching my video for the past few months now will know that the favorite, in my opinion, for the Paris Olympics was actually this guy, Sisei Lemma. I truly believe that he was going to defeat Eli Kipchoge, running a sub one hour first half of the marathon. However, it's now been made aware, well not really, because no one's really heard of this news, so that's why I'm making a video on it. Please share this video to make everyone aware, as the only news piece on it seems to be on Let's Run, <laughs> and it was from an uh, Instagram post made by National Coaches. So here you can see that they are saying that the athlete Siselema has actually dropped out of the Olympics, and as a result, the Ethiopian Tamaratola has replaced him. So I was a bit confused because I saw Tamarat Hola in the original start list, but I'm going to discuss that a bit later on in today's video. First, let's look at some of the comments made by these people. So firstly, someone says they think Bekele will win gold. I disagree with that. I reckon he will maybe get bronze or maybe silver at the best, but I think there are faster people in the field. So uh, can't wait to see him in Berlin, says another athlete. Everyone's saying, no, it's good news. Toller is never afraid to take the lead and hurt people. The pace will be honest with him. Good point. Toller is running similar to Sisei Lemma. He also likes to run hard from the gun because he is in fact not great at sprinting or tactical races. Someone commented, amazing news for Bekele. One, Bekele runs his own race. The more carnage of a too fast pace before the big the big hills, the better. Two, Toller will DNF if he has any sort of problem on the course. The track record of this is clear, with big money in those full marathons at stake. Three, Lemmer's toughness is very high. The way he attacked Boston and survived it, you'd put him as lightly to podium as worst, even if he misjudges this one. I agree with that guy, 100%. What this person is saying is true, because Cecilia Lama judges his races very well tactically. And another thing I wanted to mention is there is theories as to why Cecilia Lama dropped out because there's not actually any concrete evidence or reasoning why he's dropped out. Some people speculate his injury and other people are speculating it's because of family issues, but I wanted to actually cover why it is in the end of today's video. You'll be surprised. Oh my, almost wanted to bet on him or Matisso. Kiplanga could be as good a bet as well. Yeah, Kiplanga is also a huge threat to this race. I reckon he could potentially win the race. However, I still think that we're going to be looking at Tamaratola going for gold, at least for the halfway mark. Wow, probably injured in Boston and didn't recover in time. I don't really agree with that. Why would he leave it this late? Quite literally a week or two until the start line, the start of the race. I, I think something's happened where he's, he's changed his mind. Unless he has got an injury develop while actually running in Paris uh, to do shakeout runs and warm up during his taper. A lot of marathon runners actually do get injured during the taper because their body's like, whoa, what the hell? I used to run 130 miles a week, now I'm running 70. What's going on? Like, all the three Ethiopian men DNF Paris Olympics men marathon. I don't think that's the case. There is a chance Tola could DNF, but I don't think the other two Ethiopian runners will DNF at all. Saw some photos of him training recently, but injury can strike at any time, so it's a shame for him to miss out. 100% true. Injury can come at any time, even during the taper, when you are supposed to be recovering and rejuvenating your body to get race shape. It's disappointing, and like I said, if you are not used to tapering, you can actually end up getting injured as a result of it. I think the Kenyan selection committee will regret not selecting Evans Chibet. Yeah, well, the selection committee all around the world for every country tends to be really bad at selecting. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just really weird how they will miss out key people that are clearly in really, really good shape. And it makes people question where their experience comes from. Usually these people that select are actually just not even athletes. They're just like working on the committee and they're just employed to do, to do their job. So they just look at the facts in the paper but even then, some of them look at the results and the facts and still ignore the results. Like, I can name so many examples of how they've just not selected key runners. For example, Team GB athletes at the Olympics in the past decade to two decades. We also had some examples at cross-country races and qualifications for European champs, world champs, 
Sometimes we weren't even sending teams to some races. It was unbelievable. Lemma will run a full marathon and get paid. So what Bolle Road has said is what I actually agree with. Now I'll bring this up in one of my theories at the end of this video. So in like the next four, three to four minutes. We're going to go over the theories as to why Cecil Lemma's dropped out. And I believe it's not actually due to injury. I think there's a there's a more, how do I say, there's a, there's a secret reason for why he's dropped out. Seems you know so much about Kenyan athletics. Just sit down and enjoy the games. Leave Kenyan athletics to Kenyan. <laughs> Fair enough, I think what this guy said is um, a bit weird because you can still have the right to criticise the athletes and the selection committee, there's nothing wrong with that. And that's one of the reasons I love forums like Let's Run because you can just say whatever you want, you know, bar uh, that it's not horrible or being nasty to people, you can express your feelings, emotions and opinions and criticism and obviously you're going to get so much like, you're going to get backlash for it but still it's a place where you can share your thoughts on athletics. So. So someone said down here, Ultra Dude, that Kipchoge's odds of winning have gone up. Then someone called Charles VW, VDW said, yeah, going from 2% to 4% chance. <laughs> that's sarcasm. Like, I 100% I don't think that Elliot will win this race. And that's going off of his recent performances at Tokyo Marathon and the other marathons in 2023. However, what I can say is there's definitely not a 4% chance of him winning. In my opinion, the chance of Eliud Kipchoge winning are around 80%. I think they're 80 to 85%. With Bekele, I think the chances of him winning are around 90%. 85 to 90%. Because he is currently showing better form than Eliud in his past two marathons. So someone here wrote, And who told you the disappointment matters? Kenya has, all, has an already established name in marathons across the board. Yeah, that's 100% true. They have a great history and I agree with that. Marathoning is not only about Olympics. You should state stock of, you should take stock of Kenya's marathon performances on other fronts apart from Olympics. Kenya, the home and source of marathon world beaters and champions. Yeah, again, the Olympics isn't everything. There's not much money in the Olympics. It's more, it's more about medals, really. Um, a lot of runners actually do tend to drop out because they feel like they won't medal so they just want to go into a different marathon because there's actually a theory to it <laughs> I'm trying not to say it before we get to the theory section because it's so important but I might forget so I'll just hint it now but everyone's doing the Olympics right all the fast marathon runners are in the Olympics so the marathons the normal marathons in like the cities that, that are run during this time like around the next three to four months will be less competitive because all of the big guys would have gone to the Olympics and would have trained for that race. Which means if Cesar Lema does Berlin, there's going to be a way smaller field. Kipchoge won't be there, Bekele won't be there, Tamaratola won't be there. All these big names in the Olympics will not be in this race for Berlin. So Cesar has a high chance of winning that prize money, which is a lot of money. So someone where I have a feeling the world's best marathoners won't win on this brutal course. It will be a surprise winner. So, yeah, I mean, I've heard that the uh, course itself is very difficult. Lots of kind of bends and turns, and also the gradient's quite steep in certain places. Again, Tamarat Tola suits that kind of course. He's a very, very kind of gutsy endurance-based runner. So I reckon that he will actually take it out hard, and he will really, really start to work hard on those hilly sections in this race. And Tamarat Tola's the kind of guy that doesn't really care if he's on his own in no man's land. He's actually good at doing that, and he doesn't get carried away with uh, worry or like anxiety of knowing that he has Kipchoge behind him or Bekele that could be otherwise intimidating to other athletes if they try to break away. The winner will be a totally unexpected runner like the Japanese runner who won Boston a few years back at the horrendous weather conditions. Yes, I covered that race on my old channel. It has like 8 or 9 million views. It's Yuki Kawuchi and he is insane. However, I can't see him run winning the race. He is in this race. He is in the Paris Olympics. However, I think it will be one of the Kenyans or Ethiopians. Right now, I'm betting on Tamarat Tola, and I don't think Michele or Kipchoge are going to win. So finally, we've got to the theory section. Let's get started. Number one, Sise Lemma wasn't in good enough shape to medal. So that's simple. Number one is he's realized he's not in good enough shape, so he's dropped out. The weird thing about this that doesn't make sense is that I don't think this would apply to him because... Why would he travel to Paris, do the shakeout runs, and announce it's so late that he doesn't want to compete? 
you can usually judge what kind of fitness you're in around three to four and even five weeks out from a big race. So surely Cisse Lemma would have dropped out way before this point. So it's a bit weird that we're only hearing the news now. Number two, he would rather target Berlin Marathon. Most Olympic athletes won't be at this because of Paris 2024, which gives Lemma a very high chance of winning. Again, I went over this a minute ago, is that's very true. He may have actually dropped out of Paris to run Berlin and then he will probably win because the start list will be not very high standard because all the big runners have been in the olympic marathon and they're too busy you know recovering and building up for their 2025 marathon season you'd have to be a bit crazy to do a paris olympics and then a few months later do a berlin marathon <laughs> what this means for kip Jogi: higher chance of meddling higher chance of gold yes it does the race will most likely start slow and be tactical. You guys will remember I mentioned how Lemma runs in a positive split way. And lastly, Kipchoge has a new problem. Tamarat Tola will fill the place for Lemma. I'm confused though, as I already saw him on the start list way before Lemma dropped out. So this is the confusing part, the news I only heard about literally two days ago. But you'll remember around a week ago I made a video about the start list and uh, Tamarat Tola was on the start list next to Sisei Lemma. So it's a bit confusing, I don't get how he's taken his place when he was all always in the race. Kipchoge still has a big field to compete against for gold. I highly doubt Kipchoge will win. I predict bronze or top 10, judging by his last two race performances. So what do you guys think? Comment down below your opinions, give me your thoughts, subscribe to my channel if you're new and you want to watch this race and see the live stream reaction. I'll be covering all of the Olympic races from 5k, 1500, 10k and marathon. Thank you everyone for supporting my channel and I will see you guys in tomorrow's upload.